What? Uh, no, my, I'm not gonna. <laughs> June three, June third, 1989. Wait, what? 1988. 1998. <sighs> my dearest uh, Alma. Alma, I think that's how you say her name. Let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Emma. Man with glasses. There's only one man that could wear glasses like that and get away with it. Uh, I still sit here trying to think of where to begin, of how to explain it in a few simple words. All that's happened in my life since we last spoke and already I fail I yeah, I fail I hope this letter finds you uh, finds you well and that you forgive the tangents of my pen this isn't easy for me even as I write I can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away law shit thank you analog stick for that you bastard <laughs> The simplest of concepts slipping away, lost to the feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma. Yeah, Alma. <laughs> Please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. No, I won't believe you. You may be upset, you ate my humble pie, and you just ran off to a mansion with a man wearing sunglasses. I am deeply upset. You and that man with sunglasses, and you're taking my humble pie! I really have no clue what the fuck I'm talking about, but I thought I'd just throw it in there anyway! <laughs> um, okay, stop pissing about, Jammy. Uh, <laughs> the entire story would take hours for me to tell you, and time is short. So, accept these things as fact. Last month. <laughs> sorry, last month, there, there was a, an accident in the lab. And the virus we were studying leaked. Oh my god! All my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying. And the nature of the, dis the disease is just that those still living have lost their sense senses. This virus robs, robs its victims of their humanity, forcing them to... in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Wait a minute. If this virus can affect people who are living, why isn't Chris and Jill affected yet? That's odd. <laughs> you better explain that to me, game. I'll be very annoyed. I thought it only affects dead people. Even as I write these words, I can... <laughs> I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only, only delayed the inevitable. I am, I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to the end of my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My my love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my internal sleep, where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I am sorry, Martin Clarkon. Okay. <laughs> Can you have enough space? We have a hook. Thank you for that information. Yeah, what the hell is that over there? Nothing, it was just bubbles. I thought it was something else. Someone's got a brain in here. <laughs> yeah, I will take a lure bee. Okay. And there's another bee, bee specimen. Put that there. 
is here. Press it and open sesame, we get that thing. What the fuck? It's a hornet. Not B. <laughs> like, uh. Right, I better go here before that thing does something to me. Get out of the fucking room, Chris, you bastard! Ah, <laughs> uh, Chris. You really boil my blood. Actually, I might as well take this red herb with me. Could prove useful later on. Actually, isn't it... Is that my... Have I got, like, defense knife for me? I keep forgetting if I have defense knives or not, because I keep running out of other fucking things. God, I really do need to save them. I think I do have defense... Or is that a normal knife? No, it is a defense knife. Okay. I just call them defense knives, because that's pretty much what they do. Don't know why he can't use his normal survival knife. That survival knife is so useless. I tried it. I couldn't even use it properly. Right, I really do need to get rid of this armored key. I think I only need one door to get rid of. I'm not sure. Probably not. With my luck, it's not. Hmm, I really should heal myself. I really don't have the confidence to keep dodging these zombies flawlessly. And there's no music. I'm going in that room again. You better not be a zombie around here, I'll be pissed off. Good. <sighs> Damn camera angles. There is a herb in here. Nice, let's use it. Nothing else in here. Okay, we're back on that caution, which I actually don't mean really to. Uh, Alright, let's go and face Twiddle A and Twiddle B. What did I just reference there? <laughs> well, if you know your games, you know I would have. I did that little scene from Tales of Vesperia. I think I quite like Tales of Vesperia quite a lot. And no, I'm not doing a let's play of it. Fuck you. <laughs> ah, hello, zombie. Oh God. Ah, shit. Right, I didn't get rid of that. It's time to take the medicine to him. You know, before he dies of snake bites. So, what was the other. What door is it where. Where the fuck is thing we gone? Wait, what? Did he die because I pissed around too much? Um, did I do something wrong here? I think I did! Shit! Uh, let's actually return to the title screen and reload. Because I know that you can actually save them. I don't know why you would want to save them, but I think some of them might happen. Shit! <laughs> 
22 minutes and I fucked up already. Oh my god. Right. Sorry, I'm just thinking what we're going to do there because I needed the old key, didn't I? I'll get the medicine to him because getting the shotgun is not needed at the moment. And let's see where the zombie is. Oh shit, there you are. You're coming for your lunch, haven't you? Come and get me, I'm delicious. I am so delicious that you can wrap me around with cheese and call me a burger. Wait, that makes no sense. Come and get me, you fat bastard. Well, can't believe I'm doing this again. God, I'm just pissing around. Oh, pop the fucking door, please, Chris. We don't have time for your shenanigans. I know you can save this guy, and you can piss off as well. 